I have been tested positive of COVID-19. I honestly don't know where to start from here. Um, honestly, it's a little unexpected, <laughs> honestly. Um, I'm going to say as much as I can for this video. Uh, it, I'll, I'll try not to make it long because I really don't have a script right now. And um, I just had this idea in mind. I wanted to make it into like a like a community post on our channel, but uh, I prefer to have uh, much like in the video because number one, uh, it's been a little bit since we made a video. And number two, uh, it's I think it's better to be in a video than in a community post. Uh, so that way I, you know, it's just me, myself in a video uh something like this so um i think it's better to have like a video uh instead of a community post so to start off it i guess it happened somewhere uh around last week um around i, I would around i want to say uh tuesday or wednesday uh when my stepfather uh came in uh from the va well came back home from the va um and wanted to get tested um, as it turned out, he was positive and my mother started to get sick and wanted to get tested on Saturday. And Saturday was the day I also came in for testing, but coming back a little bit, I started to feel, um, like shit, uh, basically around the time when my mother became, uh, became sick. So, uh, I guess you want to say it kind of, kind of, uh, came to me uh literally shortly afterwards um but i thursday night uh when i was on a night shift uh i felt like absolute shit like i couldn't even bear it like i couldn't even tolerate it anymore like it was absolutely legit eating my health so uh thursday night was literally one of the worst nights of my life and i i told my mom like hey um i have my regular shift saturday um if I don't feel as though, you know, I should be here, um, then I'll let my boss know and, um, you know, I'll come home and whatnot. So I ended up coming in Saturday and I, I just felt absolute shit. So I'm like, Hey, um, if there's, if there's a possibility, can you send me home? And she's like, absolutely. Uh, just anytime if you're feeling worse or whatnot, um, just basically let me know and I'll, uh, I'll take care of it from here. So I, I ended up coming home, uh, around 7.30. I ended up clocking out at like 7, 7 in the morning, uh, since my starter shift was at like 5. Uh, so I, so it was a little over an hour, uh, a little over two hours or so, um, that I, uh, I started to clock out. So afterwards, at around like eight, um, that's when we came in uh, to a doctor to get tested. It was it was a rapid test. Um, so we came in, we got the test on, and we both came out positive. However, the same day, uh, apparently for uh, the company that I work for, I won't say which. Uh, Apparently, the company that I work for uh, apparently saw it, and I guess one of the officers said um, that it doesn't meet the company qualifications from what the from what the paper says and who I went to. So apparently, I had to get tested again, and the next day, uh, it's currently quarter till seven p.m. So six forty-five on August eighth. At the time I'm recording this, you may not see it uh, around this time, but um, I was tested again the same day I got the first test and got the test results back today or earlier this morning and it came out positive again. So uh, I said, hey, I came out positive again and he's like, okay, uh, just keep yourself quarantined and Bene hey, benefit for that. Um, I'm getting paid the time off, so that's a good thing. Uh, cause you know every every company should do that. Like when you're tested, you know, positive for the kind of stuff. Like you should get paid time off at the time you're quarantined. So um, it's it's better to you know have that um, time off along with that payment. Uh, 
because because it, it always should be that way it's it's not all that bad for me at least um i it, it's 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 a little worse than my mother right now but as far as what i'm uh as far as how i am it's not too bad um, uh, but Thursday night was, like, one of the worst nights of my life. Like, as I mentioned earlier, Thursday was... <sighs> God, I don't, really don't want to go back to that night. Uh, if I would choose, like, any night that, uh, would be the worst night, I would choose that night, that Thursday night when I was working. But, it, it was absolute shit that day. And... I honestly, I emailed uh, one of the administrators for my job, and I was like, hey, um, after this whole quarantine, I just, can you just drop the extra shifts that I picked up, please, because it's, it's just not worth, it's not worth the trouble, uh, especially for the company that I work for, but I'm fine. Right now, I'm isolated in my room, um, so, and Dale's fine for right now at the moment but for the most part uh most of the people here in my house are positive for this uh virus and at, at the time I didn't believe I mean I knew that COVID was real but I just didn't think it was that bad and um I mean, I know it's bad for some people, um, and I know, and I really think that people should take this seriously. Um, I, I mean, at this point, because you know the the whole you know stronger strand of this you know virus is going around, and um, it's I I really didn't expect it to be this bad, um, especially for you know where we are uh, at at the moment. But it's it's very bad at this point. And I think, I, I don't know, I don't know what person in this world should, you know, not take this seriously, to be honest with you. Um, if you're, if you, if you feel as though that you are indeed sick, like it doesn't matter if it's, you know, not co if it's not the virus, if it is the virus, it, it doesn't matter. If you're sick under any circumstances, like if you have any coughs, any, you know, allergies, any, you know, sore throats, any, you know, body aches or something like that, or any free, don't keep yourself isolated, like, like protect yourself. And if you protect yourself, it protects other people. So I, it, it really should be a thing where everybody should take this seriously. Um, so, uh, if if you really don't feel as like if you don't feel normal please don't go outside just let your like if you have a job just let like let your supervisor know like hey i'm not feeling as well like if you're not i'm not feeling well um i may need to get tested just in case you know can i you know can i call off you know maybe for a day or two and then get tested you know just in case yeah, please, t please take this seriously. Um, because at the time I didn't, I didn't even take this seriously. It's like, oh, this virus, oh, it's not bad. Um, and then <laughs> I remember one of the days last week I was, you know, discussing stuff with my mom, and uh, I remember I was like, oh, dude, I haven't been sick in like over two years. Like, if you guys remember one, of, uh, I think it was uh, one of our old videos reaction, um, where. I remember it was March 1st of 2019 where I was literally at school during lunch and I felt like absolute shit. Um, like so much so I almost threw up on my way to the bathroom and I couldn't even get time to go to the actual, uh, the actual, um, the actual toilet itself. I actually didn't have time to go there. I actually went into a fucking urinal and actually it was like a flicking flicking flacking fucking avalanche a a avalanche in there <sighs> like i'm so i'm sorry that i'm stuttering right now like i'm just like it was an avalanche in there that i unloaded in this urinal <laughs> so so another another kid walks in he's like dude 
this flu is not this flu is just absolute absolutely bad and I'm, I'm like fuck dude I don't even know how everybody you know can even tolerate this kind of shit and like I said this is like over two years ago and like since then before this I have not been sick once like no like stuffy nose no coughs no you know sore throats no headaches not that I'm saying that I do get headaches but I'm just saying like examples of those like I have not had those for like over two years and to have to have something happen like this it's like fuck dude like to have to say something like you haven't been sick in over such a long time and then something happened like this it's like okay you're sick now <laughs> so anyway uh i just want to let you guys know that i have been positive uh for this virus um and like I said, I wanted to put it into a community post about it, but at the same time, I, I was as I was typing it, I was like, you know what, I'll put it into a video, because, again, like I said, it's been a little bit uh, since uh, since we made a video. It's been quite some time, and I, like I said, I know, I know this year is literally, like, three quarters over already, like, almost three quarters over. Um, but it, life does get in the way a lot, especially when you're, especially when you're making videos for other people. Um, and not only, not only, you know, life gets in the way with making videos, it's also like, you know, your job and trying to get yourself, uh, trying to get yourself like like put yourself more independent as a person like put like getting you know an apartment or like a house for yourself and you know put like getting all your getting all your own stuff and having your own privacy um because uh it's not really the case at this point um i mean since you know my whole life really um like not being able to have my own privacy like uh, alongside from like you know, if everybody's, you know, gone from the house and, like, you're the only one left, like, that's not what I meant. I mean, like, actual privacy, like, having your own, having your own space, basically, like, your own place, your own car, like, your own everything. Just being able to have that small space for yourself, like, away from the world, just to have your own privacy is what I mean. And it, it's hard sometimes it's hard at this point uh i know some people are going through that right now and i'm i su i support you guys like uh, it, it the world how it is right now it's it's not right absolutely not right and honestly i hope I, I, I don't know how some people are able to live in this world how it is right now especially younger people Especially for how young people are raised, um, but anyway, that's just, that's besides the point. I know I've yammered on a little bit longer than <laughs> than what I expected to, uh, but I just want to let you guys know um, that I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I just you know, there's just been a, a lot of stress lately. And speaking of stress. Um, at the time when I was, you know, I think it was this was Friday night before I went in the next morning, uh, that my stepfather thinks that it's just probably the amount of stress, or you know, the, the amount of stress that I'm putting on because of the amount of shifts that I've been picking up. Uh, turns out, you know, that I actually caught it. I didn't expect that at all. Like, I literally did not expect this. Like one, like not even small percentage of it i did not expect this to happen um but now that it's happened it's like dude like i don't know how people can not take this seriously um i mean because at the time to be honest i literally thought that this whole virus thing this whole bullshit i was there um but at this point it's like considering that having to be sick uh, from like two and a half year span from 
how I was in 2019 to how I am now. Um, yeah, it's suspicious. Like, it's something that people need to take this seriously. Um, but I want to let you guys know what happened, what's going on. Uh, like I said, I want to make it into a video form. Because uh, it's been a while since we made videos. And like I said, we just want to let you guys know. Um, Dale's fine. Um, hopefully he doesn't have a two, but he's fine. Um, but at the moment, um, I want to update, update you guys on what's going on. And, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll make a little bit more content, uh, later in the future. Uh, but for right now, it's, we're in a little bit of a, we're in a little bit of a rabbit hole right now. Uh, and we're trying to dig ourselves out. Um, so, um, hope you guys understand. Um, if you do, that's great. If you don't, that's totally fine. But I'm just, you know, it, it's the situation we're in right now. It's, you know, it takes, we, we need time. Like we need our time away from here. Uh, but we, we have made a video, uh, that it will be coming soon. Uh, but for right now, um, uh, it's, it's important to, you know, let me take time uh, for myself. But again, I wanted to make a video about this to let you know that we're still, you know, we're still making content. Uh, but uh, like I said, life, life always gets in the way a lot. Um, so I want to let you guys know about this. So, okay. Uh, I think that should be enough for me. So, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for understanding. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit, uh, but like I said, at the same time, um, I should be alright in like the next two weeks or so. Like this, like I said, um, like when you have this virus, you should be like, you should, you know, absolutely um, isolate yourself from other people. Like just to, just for the sake of you know not only yourself but also them, uh, but it's also hard because um, like your household is like has more than like three people, uh, and it's it's difficult, uh, especially when you're trying to you know treat yourself alongside trying to help others that also do have it, um, but at the same time it's like. Oh, Jesus, Pete. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. My voice is kind of giving out a little bit. Um, but I'm okay. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit, though. So, uh, I just want to let you guys know. Uh, thank you guys, uh, for your understanding. And, uh, I'll, uh, hopefully see you guys in the next one.